what is up everybody man we are in florida we just landed about 45 minutes ago got in a rental ran to publix grabbed some shrimp and now we're out on this fishing pier and i mean we are about to put in some work for these next 24 hours i just want to give you a little preview man if you look straight down you can literally see fish just swimming amongst the pilings man so stay tuned we're getting to 100 species this year all right so we're going to start out with a little gamagatsu hook with a quarter ounce sinker and pretty much just going to cast it out and see what bites so kind of do a little bit of a species assessment all right time to sit and wait let's go first fish oh, whoa little spot tail pinfish that's good bait right there we're gonna keep him all right so I've made this mistake before very slow fishing to begin the day so I'm not gonna waste too much time here we'll come back we got a wristband that'll get us here through the rest of the day um, I want to explore further up the beach so stay tuned we're at spot number two water's a little dingy to be honest with you they, they got two inches of rain last night so that's never great but uh i do see it looks like a needlefish right there i'm gonna see if i can't just blind sight cast him oh. all right he got it he grabbed it let, let him take it this time got him that time got him that time let's go all right man New species to add to the list, man, a needlefish. Or it might be a houndfish. I gotta I'll have to look. Alright, I just dropped it to the bottom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Got him. Got him. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. That is a juvenile. Looks like a spotted. Oh, a spotted puffer fish. Alright, I'm letting it sink to the bottom. I'm hoping we could get away from these puffer fish. Oh. Something's got it. Something's got it. Oh, what the? We got a, huh, some type of jack. Not sure exactly what type. We'll have to take a picture and come back to it. All right, man. Got ourselves another species. Looks like a, that kind of looks like a uh, sailor's choice grunt, but I'm not sure. It's definitely in a grunt family. All right, man. So we just left spot number, I guess it was number two. Right now we're on to spot number three, which is towards the inlet. Initially, I was going to move inland and do some freshwater fishing, but uh, the, the day before we got here, so yesterday was horrendous weather. They had two inches of rain and driving by some of the freshwater spots we were going to hit, they did not look ideal for you know sight fishing so hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be able to get out early and uh see if we can't get into some peacock bass and other freshwater species but right now we're heading over to the inlet a little beautiful jetty here we'll see if anything's here all right man we got something that one just hit randomly i don't know what it is all right heck yeah man we got a new species uh it's a mohara i'm not sure if it's an irish one but i'm gonna take a picture and actually we're gonna use this guy as bait oh, if we don't lose him in the rocks oh man as we're reeling this in to get our bait back we got ourselves whoa actually that's not oh my god that's a i believe that's a ballyhoo if we could stop shaking heck yeah man all right all right all right man that is primo bait right there that mohara that we threw out there is great but man this guy might be even better but we're gonna keep him for for chunk bait for later i'm gonna try and keep this tight to this rock pile i bet you there's some fish hiding under the rocks trying to stay away from predatory fish oh got him oh what do we got here oh yeah there's a different species I believe that is a black margate. Let's go. All right, 
try going to the right side of this rock. I keep seeing something bigger kind of lurking down there. I don't know if it's a mangrove or what. Oh, got it. Whatever it is. Oh, oh man. That's not what I was going for, but... Um, that actually looks like that might be a white margate. Huh, I'm going to have to take a picture of that guy. Because it definitely looks different. Alright, just pitched it back out there. Oh, man. Got him that time. Must be a school of these guys down there. Because that, that looks like a... Yeah, that's another one. Got him. Got him. Oh, double trouble right there. And let's go. We got, I believe that is a juvenile schoolmaster snapper, maybe? Not sure on that one. I'm pretty sure schoolmaster. And we got ourselves, that's a different Mohara, too. So there's two new species right there. This one's more narrow and slender. The, the first one we caught was a little wider. All right, man, we're now on the intercoastal. Uh, there's like a little bit of an eddy right here, so I'm gonna see how deep it really is. Oh, it's not deep at all right there, but there's definitely fish because we just got some heads. Oh, there we go, there we go. This feels a little bit bigger. If it's one fish, it's definitely bigger. Oh man, I think it might be a pork fish. Heck yeah, man. We've been trying to catch one of these guys all morning. Finally got one right at sunset. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. All right, man, it is officially nighttime and we're hoping to catch some fish off the pier. We came here earlier and it was not good by any means, but we're gonna give it a shot. We got more shrimp and uh, hopefully there's some hungry fish down there. All right, let's get this down there. Calm night out here on the pier, low winds. Oh, for sure. Let's see what we got. Now that might be a blue stripe grunt right there. I think that is. Yeah, that's a juvenile blue stripe grunt. That's our first one. Oh man, just had a hit and missed. But the beauty of the four hooks is I know that I still have some bait. And I think sometimes when they bite like that, it triggers another fish to come grab it. Now that looks like a different species. I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to get a picture of this guy. Yeah, I don't know. All right, man. So we are now at a new spot. We're fishing around some docks. Uh, it's you know the middle of the night. I guess you'd say the beginning of the morning. Um, pretty tired to be honest with you, but you know. We are going to make the most out of every minute we're here. Not really sure what actually lurks in this little area, but we're about to find out if there's anything. Cast it out towards that light. Holy smokes, man. We hooked into something right here. I don't know what this is, but it's got some size to it. Oh, catfish. Heck yeah, man. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, easy buddy, easy. Ah, son of a gun, he got me with his barbel. Uh, I'm trying to see what type of cat this is. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it, I just hooked myself. It's like a, uh, I'm gonna have to look this guy up. I'm pretty sure it's like a gaff topsail, something like that, gaffiskill or something. 
Well, let this guy go. All right, new species to add to the list. All right, all right, all right, man. Sun is finally up. <clears throat> Starting to run on fumes, to be honest with you, but we are determined today to catch a peacock bass. So we got this nice little lake. We're gonna try and see if anything's in there. So stay tuned. All right, man, so uh, let's see what we got. We got a 1-0 hook. We're gonna throw one of these live shiners on it. And we're gonna just throw them out, see if we get any takers. We'll start with no float, and then we'll go from there. All right, I see one right by that buoy. See if he'll take it, come on, come on, come on, take it. Got him, let's freaking go, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, baby. Come on, let's freaking go, man. First peacock bass. Oh my God, I did not think that was gonna happen. Look at this freaking, now it's not a big one by any means, but. Boy, look at this. Whoa, easy, easy, buddy. Look at this beautiful fish. Man. All right, man, we're gonna get this beautiful specimen back in the water. There he goes. What a freaking, oh man, that's a new species. Never caught one of them before. I don't know what that is. There's some type of smaller fish oh, right in front of us. I'm gonna try and drop a live worm in front of it, see if it'll eat it. Looking at it. It's looking at it. Oh yeah, he got it. Got him. Oh. All right. Got ourselves <clears throat> a little largemouth. Florida largemouth. All right, man. So we came to a different spot in hopes to get a few more species before we got to get out of here. So here we go. All right, let's see. He's right there. Try and get him to come back for it. There he is, come on. He's got it. Come on, swallow that. Got him, got him. Let's freaking go. It's a needlefish, that's a new species. And that's gonna be bait. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Be. Heck yeah, man. First mangrove snapper. Not a big guy by any means, but new species. All right, man. So this is how the trip's going to end. It's either going to end on a good or a bad note. Big storm coming in. We're heading out to the beach. Do a little surf fishing. So, I mean, geez, look, look how look, freaking gorgeous that water is. All right, man. So we got shrimp that are still left over we're gonna throw them on this high low rig and see if anything's in the surf I mean geez look how beautiful this place is and this is a stormy day and it's it's like low low 70s high 60s all right feed that on good because if they're smaller fish, they're gonna steal it right off the hook. See if anything's right out here. Man. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Pretty happy that we got, you know, 20 different species while we were down there. Um, it's definitely a long 24 hours in certain stretches, uh, especially in the middle of the night when the tide was not ideal. Um, you know, I, there's a few things if I could go back and change, I would, but I'm, you know, content with how everything turned out. Thank you guys for watching. 
And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, man, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys soon.